Okay. Hey, Philip. So, I'm doing this on my bed. Usually I do it at my altar. But my altar is a mess right now. So, I'm doing this on my bed because it's a Celtic cross and it needs to be laid out in a specific way. Um, this is the, if you're, I always tell people because I'm interested in decks and this is the Gilded Tarot. Um, this was the first deck that was ever given to me. And then Jay recently asked me if I had a deck he could practice on. So I gave him my old, the one that was gifted to me. So I just, brand new, it's a brand new deck. And uh, I believe you're the first one I've read with this specific deck. But it's a, it's a great, it's a very great deck. Um, the pictures are very clear with the message. So um, it's a really good beginner deck. Um, Anyway, so for you, what I'm going to do is the Celtic Cross, and then I've got a couple of Oracle cards. There are going to kind of be advice from your guides, and um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so how I normally, how I used to do readings is I would try to intuitively read the cards, and then read the book meaning, and that just takes a really long time, so I'm just going to jump in. And say whatever comes to my mind, because that's how a good reader reads. Um, I know Megan is a, an amazing reader. I'm not an amazing reader, um, but I enjoy it. So, anyway, enough rambling. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright, this is you. This signifies you. The present situation. And it, you're victorious in battle. You have slain all of your enemies. You have actually taken all of their swords away from them. You're very victorious right now. But, here's the challenge. Challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. Which means, um, there's a lot of things out of your control right now. And, the thing about the Wheel of Fortune is it can turn good or it can turn bad. Um, but you have to let it turn. You have to just kind of surrender to the situation and say... Whatever is out of your control, try and let it go. Um, but then, here is the past. The past. What has led up to this situation is strength. And this is actually a really beautiful card. And I'll read what the book says about strength. Um, I haven't... I probably should have used my kind of more Celtic deck for you, but... Um, I'll do that with your spirit guide reading. But, okay, so strength. You have more strength, power, and courage than you realize. Learn to live easily with these gifts and use them when appropriate. Um, I have another another deck. Um, what is it called? Fairy Forest or something like that. Yeah. And, excuse me. The way that they describe strength is that these two walk hand in hand. This lady and this pet lion. They are very curious about each other. Um, they trust each other a lot. Because what lion would let a woman put a chain around its neck. But he... It, it's, it's more like a spirit guide than an actual pet so they walk hand in hand together this lady and this lion um and um but they can depend on each other so why this is in the past um i'm not sure so what's in the future is the ace of swords which means you have a, a gift of intellect and um the future meaning the next couple weeks, next couple months. Um, this is not the final outcome. Um, I'll tell you like I tell everybody else. The future is not... Um, this, the future is not set in stone. But what you can do is you can use your keen intellect and your, and your sharp mind to figure out your path and what you want to do next. You're smart enough, you're smart enough and strong enough to figure it out on your own. Um, 
so this is the seven of cups is your goal and for the life of me i cannot remember what the seven of cups means i know what the six of cups means but seven of cups let me facing many choices opportunities and dreams and it says the reverse meaning means you're being distracted by fantasies that you don't um that that you don't make a choice um Sometimes the reverse meaning means more to me. Um, so, this is not making any sense to me. Sometimes it, um, sometimes the person I'm reading for will know more about why this card came up than I do. Um, or what does this card mean to you? Um, you do have some really great things like um, the elements, like you have fire, you have air, you have some stars, you have a rainbow, which means um, God will never um, flood the earth again. You have a dove. So there's some hope. Um, there's some hope there. Fire is actually not bad. Fire is very cleansing. Water is very cleansing, but also is fire. It burns away what, what is unnecessary. Um, water purifies, and fire just, it cuts it out. Okay. And then, um, what is below? You, this is your feelings about the situation. And your... It's keeping you up at night. Um, you're worrying a lot. You're up in your head. Um, and I kind of really hate this card when it comes up because this woman, you know, she's had a nightmare and she's woken up. Um, she feels the eyes of this owl watching her. But you see all these swords above her head. She doesn't know when they're going to fall. Or when the blow was coming. So, you're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. It might not drop. That's the, you know, thing. Um, this is the, your, the advice about your situation. It's a chariot. And the interesting thing about the chariot is that she holds no reins over these two magical beings. So, I'm going to read what the book says about... Chariot. Okay, willpower and control. Recognize your own strength and ability. Just like this. Recognize your own strength and ability. To maintain order in the midst of chaos, know that you can achieve more than you think you can. Um, the chariot is also a little... Some things are beyond your control. Like, she... She's chosen to be in this position of power. She's chosen this life for herself. But, you know, where these take her... Oh, so is she alone for the rider? Is she in control? But do know that you... I mean, you've got two cards that are saying you, you're extremely strong. You're a very resilient person. Um, this is external influences. Um, on the situation. And that is a, just a very immature person. And. Let's see. Wands are about action. Um, let me find it in the book. Page of wands. Okay. Um, it's time for you to put thought into action. You're well prepared, so go ahead and take the next step. The Page of Wands can indicate a message usually pertaining to your career, a project you're working on, or a course of study that you're interested in. Um, yeah, so, you know, with, okay, so, Pentacles is about Earth. It's about earthly things. It's about your finances. It's about your job but if you have a job working with your hands um 
It's about going to school, um, doing, you know, the groundwork. Swords is about your mind and in your tongue. It's how you speak. It's how you think. Cups is about, um, is about emotions. And it's about the element of water. And wands is about putting these things into action. So, um, it, you know, it's basically saying, um, you, you're strong enough to put this into action. And then your hopes and fears is the three of cups and your hope, your fears are that you don't have any friends and that nobody's going to understand you. And even though these women are dancing, they're together. Um, but it, it being in a, in, in hope, you're hoping to make new friends, maybe with this new job, because the job did get brought up. Um, so three of cups, it says being surrounded by those who give you happiness and simple pleasures. Um, so hopes, you know, hopefully you can make some friends outside of you and, and Megan that are healthy friends. Um, and people that are, um, are like-minded and good influences on you. Um, your fears are that nobody's going to understand you. And, you know, like I said, cups being about emotions, your emotions are kind of spilling over a little bit. It's not extreme or I would have gotten a ton of cup cards. Um, it, you know, and, and rightfully so, um, that you, you have the right to be emotional right now. Um, and then, so the outcome is the King of Wands. And he's kind of relaxed, actually. So, um, let me find him in the book. There we go. You're focused, determined, and driven. See, he's focused on his wand. He's focused on his actions. Something has your full attention, and you're channeling all your energy and skills in that direction. You have a strong sense that you are right in all things concerning this venture. Um, so this is the outcome. You're, you're just gonna you're gonna be very sure of yourself once once this is over. So. Um, I'm gonna, I already, I already shuffled the Oracle cards and I was just, I'm gonna put these, um, to the side because I like to take notes on, um, I like to take notes on what I drew for people because I'm a freak like that. <laughs> anyway, um, for you, I'm using the Viking Oracle and it's pretty, um, it's pretty Celtic and Norse and, and freaking awesome. So this is advice from your guides. Um, I will do that spirit guide reading for you. Um, but right now, and these do have runes on them. That's why I got this deck. Um, I do do rune readings. Um, runes are a little blunt. That's why I don't like to do them alone. Um, I will mix them with uh, oracle cards or tarot or something anyway. So... Um, a message or advice from your guides is Issa. You're, you're kind of immobile and frozen right now. Then there's AWAS, um, which means, um, there's going to be some movement in this situation. The next is Valkyrie. And, um... The reason I chose this deck, I think maybe it might be a little obvious. Um, yeah, so I did my 23andMe, and I am 71% British. <laughs> and only about, I think, 8 or 10% uh, Scandinavian. But I'm like 17% broadly Western European, which means... Scandinavian could be higher. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I'm just really, really white. <laughs> I'm just a white girl. Um, anyway, so 110. 
I'm going to read a little bit about Valkyries. But Valkyries, I do have a sense that you have a very Norse um, guide. And I, I, I don't know if... I don't know if Megan's talked to you. She, I think she probably has. Um, it's been a while because it's just been really like a rough couple months spiritually about, you know, my spirit guide and everything. But my spirit guide, um, Dimitri, is a Viking, pretty much. And he's <laughs> he's got red hair and he's really tall and buff and really hot. But anyway, um, Valkyries are really interesting because they are they're women and in battle when you die if you've died of a courageous death the valkyries will come and take you to valhalla and they're they're these beautiful you know viking women um so it says valkyries you can win the battle you face let go of your inner restrictions and others expectations explore your wild self redemption is always available be the hero in your own life. And I'll read what the others say. Um, and then there's the void. Um, I'm not super... Um, familiar with this deck. I'm familiar with, um, with runes, but... Okay, this is possibility still undecided by the gods. Things are in flux, which means there's just some things that are out of your control. Um, a little mystery is a positive thing. Knowing that we don't know is a great place from which to begin to learn. There's great potential in your current position. The fate of this issue is not yet decided. The void represented as a blank stone or a piece of wood was included to remind that sometimes... Not knowing is the best way forward. Oh, um, the void being, um, sometimes it's spell weird, W-Y-R-D, um, the weird rune, and it's actually a blank rune, which means anything can be written on it. So you do have the power to write something for yourself, and you do, like I said, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have to surrender to the moment, um. And I know it's really easy to, I'm not going to say be controlling, but to want to manipulate certain situations. Because um, I, have, I have a hard time letting, giving, surren surrendering control. Um, just because so many shitty things have happened um, in the past. Um that I'm like, you know what? This isn't cool. And I don't know why my phone is doing this anyway. Um, and the last one is the thing. I don't know what the thing means. Um, so the thing means make, he, make a firm decision. Do your due diligence regarding contracts and legal disputes. If you're involved in a political situation at work. Get to the heart of the matter and be flexible. Try diplomacy before resorting to harsher means. So, brain over brawn right now. Um, and you do have the brain because I got the Ace of Swords. So, um, I'll read what uh, the book says about Issa. And that's the room, Issa, right there. Just, um, um, Issa, Issa means it's a cooling trend. Issa means... Um, you know, like I said, you're a little frozen, which is not exactly a bad thing. Um, Issa means you need to pause. Um, okay, so this is what the book says. A temporary pause or halt. It is prudent to stop and wait for a better time. Be silent and regroup. Understand that some things may be frozen in place for a time. This is beneficial. Do not allow others to control you or your time. So... Um, and Issa, if you ever study runes and they tell you to reflect on what Issa, what the runes mean to you, um, Issa, to me, means everything has a winter. Um, it can't always be summer. Um, 
so you just message me, so I'm going to end after this, but, um, here's, uh, Awas. Awas means actually, and this is the rune Awas right here. It looks like an M. Um, Awas is actually the rune for horse. Okay. Um, take speedy action. Open yourself to the power of flow. It benefits us to work with the rhythm of the natural world. Equine assisted therapy may be of comfort to you. Eat seasonally available foods and notice the particular energies of each season. We are not our past. Yeah, so move, and it does mean moving forward. So it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little chilly, a little frigid right now. There's going to be some movement. You're going to be victorious in battle, which already, that already came up. The void means you can, um... If you don't like how things are going, you can you can rewrite your own um, contract, but then be very firm in that. And yeah, use brain, not brawn. So um, let me know what you think. Um, it was really a pleasure reading for you. It was very. <laughs> Some people it's not that easy. Some people it's very, um, I don't know what these mean. This is, um, I think this was a very positive reading. So just, um, anyway, let me know what you think. Blessed be. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.